Hello and welcome back. In this video we're going to create um, some methods that we can use inside of our model class um, and in all of our child classes that we extend from this uh, just to make this a little nicer to use. Um, so let's start with our insert. Now this is just a wrapper pretty much around our um, this is just a wrapper around our database insert method but if you remember, we needed a table and the fields. Well, we already know the table um, if we're in a model because the model is going to have a table. And so what we can do there is just um, simply just do if, just do a check here. So if empty fields, so if that's an empty array, then what we want to do is just go ahead and return false right off the bat. Um, else, what we want to do is return this db um, insert. And remember, we needed the table, but we have access to this uh, table. And then uh, we just pass that field right on down. So that's it. I mean, that is our insert. Um, it's using the insert from uh, the database wrapper. So it's not any different from that except for we already know this table so we're just taking that away so now to use this um, we can just simply just use our model object and then use the insert method on there and it would know since it's been instantiated it would know the table already so we don't need to pass that in here it just uh, extracts one more parameter away from that so let's do the same thing with the uh, update And this will need uh, ID and fields. So we're just getting rid of the. Um, so we say if empty fields. Um, and we also need to check if the ID. So if the ID um, is equal to the blank string, then we're going to return false. Else, what we want to do is um, return this db update. I'm going to pass it this table, and then I'm going to pass it the ID, and then fields. Okay, so uh, super easy. The next one is going to be our delete method. And it's not going to be as easy because what I want to do is um, I want to I want to actually have a soft delete option where we're not actually deleting rows from our database. Sometimes that's not desirable. Um, we just want to we want to just set a boolean value or something that it is deleted, not used in our application. Um, so we have this we set this soft delete equal to false by default. Um, so later we'll have the ability to set soft delete to true. So let's go ahead and just plan for that. So let's say public function delete. And that is going to take an ID. Alright. Um, and what we want to say is uh, if, if ID is equal to a blank string. Okay. Um, if that happens and this ID is equal to a blank string, then we'll return false right off the bat. Um, another check that we can do is um, if well, we're going to say if ID is equal to a blank string, then pass this. We're going to set default that uh, set by default. We're going to set that equal to a blank string, and then we can say if that is a blank string, then we're going to say um, ID is going to be equal to this ID. And the reason we're doing that is because um, what we could do is later. Um, we can, we could probably, 
instead of doing an inline like this, let's do let's rewrite that a little bit and make it a ternary operator. Let's say id is equal to so if this id a string and it's going to, going to set id to this id um, else it's just going to be to id. Okay. And the reason we're doing this is because um, later on in our object, um, if you notice here we have this public ID, um, we may, uh, on those result sets, we'll have ID, it will be set. So if ID is set, then we can just pass, if we want to delete it, we can just pass the delete method without anything here, and it would actually delete that object that we're currently on, or we have instantiated it. If we're calling the method on, rather. All right, so... Um, so then we need to know if this is soft delete or not. So if this soft delete, okay, so if that's true, then we're not actually going to delete anything, we're going to actually update. Um, so what we'll do here is say this update, <coughs> excuse me. Um, and it takes an ID, and then what we're going to update is uh, deleted. We're going to set that equal to one. Okay. So if it if if it's not soft delete though, um, we actually want to delete the object. So then we'll um, so we'll just return this, and then else what we're going to do is return this db delete and then that delete method is the table so this table okay and then it gets the id okay so that's how the delete will work and that's how the um, soft delete works so soft delete up here we're set to true um, on our class, then if we ran this delete method, it would actually just update the deleted column to one. And if not, if that's not set to false, it's actually going to delete that row from the database. So that we got soft and part deleting in one method. Okay, so um, let's see how I'm doing on time here. Okay, we're doing fine on time, so let's let's go ahead and I'm going to extract the uh, query method as well. So we'll say public function query. We'll pass in SQL and find. Okay. Um, and this should be fairly easy. So we'll say return this db query SQL. Right, so um, just the only thing we're doing here is running um, the. Well, let's just give this an empty array by default, so we could just query and return everything. Um, so yeah, so that's that way we can run raw queries here on our models um, without having to actually say this DB or something. We could actually just run the model and then query. Um, there's a few more methods um, I'd like to look at now, and I'm going to actually put this above our insert and delete because this method is pretty cool. I'm going to do public function save, and this is going to assume that um, you have an instantiated object that you're saving on, and so um, what I want to do is pass in fields, uh, make that empty, so empty array, and then for each this column names, okay, um, as column, um, so fields column, is equal to this column. 
Notice I have the dollar sign here so that this property is actually um, a variable property. So if we pass in, when this gets to F name, it'll be like um, fields F name equals this F name. So that I actually populate with a value of that. Um, okay, so that um, is how we're going to do that. And I'll show you examples later of how we use the save method and we'll test it. But let's just keep plugging away on the code for now. So now what I want to do is make this pretty smart to where it actually knows whether or not to update or insert the record with the save method. So let's just put a little comment so that we know why I did this. Determine whether to update or insert. Okay. And so here we go. This is how we're going to do it. We're going to say if property exists on this object, and what we're looking for is ID. So I'm looking for if it exists, okay, and I want to know if this ID is not equal to a blank string. If both of those are true, then I want to return this, we want to update, and it will be this ID will be passed in as the ID, and then fields will be passed in. Okay? Um, so then what I can do is, um, if that property doesn't exist, say else, whoa, else return this insert, and then um, we're going to be just inserting the fields. So if we instantiate uh, an object off of our model class or one of our child, so say it were contacts, and we set a bunch of properties up, then we could just say contacts uh, and then call the save method, and it would know whether to insert it as a new field or just update the values. So we could do either one and just use save, and it knows which one of those to use, um, and it does that based upon whether or not this ID is populated. So you'll see an example of that running later, so that's not a big deal, so let's just um, move on here. Um, there's really only a couple more things that I want to do here. Um, check the time. I think we can finish real quick. Um, so, I want to I want to have a method that that we can um, just return an object of the data. Let's say we don't want all the other methods or anything like that. So we could do say data new std class, and then I'm gonna say for each this column names as column data column is this column and then return Okay, so that, I don't know if we'll use this much, but what that allows us to do is grab an object and then just, if we just need that data for some reason, we don't want all the methods or anything like that, say we're going to be, you know, I don't know what we would do, but um, we need a smaller result set. Um, we could use that or we could use our DB class, which would naturally return just the column name. So this kind of takes uh, an object and strips it back down to just the data. Um, but there may not be much use for that. So I, I have it there in case we need it, um, but we may not need it. The other thing that we will need, though, um, is 
we're going to use this assign method. I'm going to um, pass in some params. <coughs> and what I want to do is say if not into params, then um, we're going to loop through those. So for each params as key value pair. And then we'll say if in array key this column names. If that's true, then we're going to say this key is equal to sanitize value. All right. And then what we'll do is if all of that happens after this for each here we will oh, after this for each um, we'll return true else we're going to return false okay okay the one thing we don't have yet is the sanitize function um, so let's go ahead and build that um, that's we're just going to throw that in our helpers and let's see this is a super easy function that will help us sanitize user input We're just going to pass that in a dirty value, and what we're going to get back is we'll use the HTML entities, and we'll pass in dirty as the first parameter, um, and then what we're going to do is um, int quotes the second parameter and the third parameter. We're going to pass in UTF. So that'll return HTML entities of that, and we'll be using that in our assign method here. This key, and that way we could take um, like post values, like a post array, and we could just uh, assign that to our object. It would loop through each key, sanitize the value, and then plug it in. And then what we could do is say like um, this save. So like. Um, we'd have like contacts assigned, and so why we're updating the form, and then we could just do uh, contact save after the assignment is made. All right. Well, uh, I believe for now the model is good to go. Um, in the next video, I think what we'll start to do is um, start building. Um, a user registration, a login and registration system into this, um, and so we'll add some user classes, a uh, user model, and some user uh, uh, tables into our database, and then we'll start building up the ability for us to log in and register, and at the same time we'll be um, testing and checking all of our code up to this point. So I hope this is making some sense to you. I know this has been a little uh, I've been moving quickly, but um, we had these kind of big, large classes to make with the model and the DB wrapper. So go through, take some time, and read those. Make sure you understand every line of code. If you don't, uh, get some help with it. Let me know, um, and I'll help out, or um, you know, other students will help you. So thank you, and uh, have a wonderful day.